Postimes the Postman is an Estonian daily newspaper established on January 1, 1857, by Johan Voldemar Janssen. It became Estonia's first daily newspaper in 1891. Its current editor-in-chief is Lori Husser. The paper has approximately 250 employees. Postimes is published six days a week and has the largest circulation and readership not only in Estonia, but also in the Baltic region, with 55,000 copies bought weekdays and over 72,000 at weekends. 97% of the circulation is subscription based, 3% sold. The weekend Postimes, published on Saturdays, brings the investigative journalism and weekend events to the readers. Included in the Saturday edition are a K Arvamus ya Kultur, Ardor, and a television guide. The publisher of Postimes, as Postimes is owned by Eesti Media Group until the autumn of 2013 it was owned by Norwegian group Shibsted. History Postimes is considered to be the oldest newspaper in Estonia. It was first established in Parnu on 5 June 1857 by Johann Voldemar Janssen. Karl August Hermann bought the paper in 1886, and he began publishing Postimes in Tartu. In 1891 Postimes became Estonia's first daily newspaper. In 1896 the newspaper was bought by Tartu's intellectuals. It was edited by Jan Tonison who brought together many talented cultural figures such as August Kitzberg, Anna Hava and Karl August Hindry. He became a longtime editor of the newspaper in the Independent Republic of Estonia. Postimes has played an important role in Estonians' educational and cultural development. During the Estonian War of Independence, when the newspaper was edited by Tonison, it published A Protocol of 1919, an anti Semitic canard. In 1948, during Soviet rule, the paper was renamed to Edasa. Forward. The paper returned to its original name in 1991. In 1995, Postimes launched its website, which started as an online version of the print edition. In 2000, the website was revamped and it began publishing online news on a daily basis. It is now a frequently visited news portal. During the 2007 Bronze Soldier of Tallinn controversy, the Postimes website was attacked, leaving international visitors unable to access the site for a week. Circulation In the second quarter of 2013, the print edition of Postimes had 211,000 readers. Its average circulation in May 2013 was 54,000. The Russian version has an average daily circulation of 39,000. Tartu Postimes has 57,000 readers daily, and its average circulation is 18,700. Postimes, whether via paper or web, reaches 613,000 readers in a month. 68,000 people follow Postimes by mobile according to a study conducted in March 2013. Editions Postimes also owns print editions like Ardor, Postimes Extra, Tartu Postimes, Den za Dnjom and it manages several well-known online news brands, like Postimes.ee, Tartu.Postimes.ee, Sport.Postimes.ee, Alu24.ee, Nain24.ee, Ilmajam.ee, Tarbia24.ee, Dzd.ee, Limon.ee, Talincity.ee, as well as Postimes.ru.Postimes also has 34 special editions in Estonian and 12 in Russian. Awards Received Postimes has won many European newspaper awards in very different categories. Postimes's journalist Tuli Koch won the Bonnier Prize in 2010. Postimes won Pronksmuna in 2012 for launching a campaign for Limon.ee, which is a web portal for the Russian-speaking target group. In 2005 Postimes's journalist, Priit Pularitz, won an award for the Best Opinion Story of the Year. <laughs> Awards issued 
Since 1997, Postimes has chosen a person of the year. Culturivador is a prize given by Postimes yearly since 2005. Since 2000 Postimes arranges an annual event where prominent national opinion leaders gather to discuss important topics affecting society and the country. There is also a prize for the year's most influential opinion leader. Participation Postimes participates in Atomium Culture, the permanent platform for European excellence that brings together some of the most authoritative European universities, newspapers, and businesses to increase the movement of knowledge, across borders, across sectors and to the public at large. Postimes also participates in the Cannes Lions International Festival of Creativity which is a global event for those who are working in advertising and other related fields. Postimes supports youth entrepreneurship through the program Unistist Elu. Postimes organizes the economic conference E24 Majinduskonference, with law firm Tark Grunte Sutkini and with economic news portal E24. In 2013 it was the fifth conference that was held. Portals www.postimes.epostimes.ee is Estonia's largest news portal where all topical Estonian and foreign news are broadcast. Postimes.ee gets an average of 163,000 readers a day. The editor-in-chief of Postimes.ee is Ivor Reinap. www.tartupostimes.etartu Postimes is the largest county paper in Estonia that's published in the towns of Tartu and Otepaa, as well as Tartu and Jojiva counties. The editor-in-chief of Tartu Postimes is Vahor Kalmer. www.dzd.eedzd.ee is a portal directed at the Russian-speaking readership, providing original stories and opinion articles. In addition, it covers the stories from DZD paper copy as well as articles from partners, such as MK and Infopress. DZD.ee gets an average of 14,000 readers a day. The editor-in-chief of DZD.ee is Jevgenia Garanza. www.e24.ee24.ee is Estonia's largest economics portal. The portal also offers news from the Financial Times. E24.ee also contains Judamine.ee, a column meant for managers. E24.ee gets an average of 37,000 readers a day. www.tarbia24.etarbia24.ee is a consumer-oriented info portal for useful tips and news directed to consumers. Tarbia24.ee gets an average of 19,000 readers a day www.elu24.elu24.ee is an entertainment portal that covers the lives of both domestic and foreign stars and everything related to entertainment. elu24.ee gets an average of 44,000 readers a day. The editor-in-chief of elu24.ee is Anu Sagim. www.nain24.enen24.ee is a portal directed at women. Additionally, advice can be asked from experts of their field via the portal. The portal also publishes summaries from different foreign and domestic women's magazines. Name24.ee gets an average of 25,000 readers a day. The editor-in-chief of Name24.ee is a new Sagim. Ilmajam.ilmajam.ee is a weather environment in Estonia, made in cooperation with Norway's largest weather site Year.no. In addition to the Estonian weather page there is also a weather page directed at Russian-speaking readers, called prognos.ee. Ilmajam.ee gets an average of 11,000 readers a day. www.limon.ilimon.ee is a Russian entertainment portal that covers the lives of both domestic and foreign stars and everything related to entertainment. Limon.ee gets an average of 9,000 readers a day. The editor-in-chief of Limon.ee is Olesha Truvorova. www.postimes.rupostimes.ru is a news portal directed at Russian readers that covers all topical Estonian and foreign news. Postimes.ru gets 15,000 readers a day. The editor-in-chief of Postimes.ru is Olesha Lagashina. <laughs>